hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel my name is anzarama blana to those of you who are seeing my face for the very first time you are most definitely welcome to my youtube channel please feel free to subscribe which is just pressing the button that is somewhere down below your screen it helps me very much and i really 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 appreciate it when you guys subscribe subscribe well if you're watching this on the 4th of may today is my birthday <laughs> anyway uh to celebrate my birthday i decided to make myself a homemade chocolate cake with a buttercream frosting so in this video i will be showing you guys how i made the chocolate sponge and then you can dress it however you like you can make a chocolate ganache you can make a buttercream frosting you can like ice it in any way that you feel like it when i'm comfortable with my buttercream recipe or my icing recipe i will show you that guys in later videos but for now let's just do the sponge together and i will show you how i assembled the cake all together i am very excited to be making myself a cake please like subscribe you can comment i'll be happy to read all your comments down in the comment sections i love you very much so for your ingredients you're going to need four cups of self-raising flour one and a half cups of cocoa powder and then you are also going to need four teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda and then you're going to need three cups of caster sugar you can also use white sugar and then you're going to need four eggs and then you're going to need two cups of milk uh, you're going to need one cup of oil and then you're going to make instant coffee which is 1.5 cups and then you're going to need some water and then melted chocolate and vanilla so we are going to start off by putting four cups of the soft raising flour into a big bowl your bowl must be big enough the recipe that i'm making is going to make two round sponges the tray is about like i'd say 25 centimeters in diameter if i'm not mistaken and then in the same container you're going to add that one and a half cups of unsweetened cocoa powder if you have a sift you can also sift these ingredients in with each other and then after you are done with your cocoa powder the next ingredient will be your bicarbonate of soda of which we are adding four teaspoons after you've added your bicarbonate of soda you're going to add one teaspoon of salt as shown here just sprinkle it through and then we mix everything so now i'm going to set aside this container and we are going to start working on our wet ingredients so i am just putting three cups of the caster sugar inside uh, a container this packet of caster sugar is about 500 grams which i ended up using all of it so i have just cracked my four eggs and then i'm just placing them into the container with sugar and then we are going to whisk away until like it's mixed enough So now I'm going to move on next to the other wet ingredients, which is two cups of uh, full cream milk. This will be then followed by one cup of canola oil. I think you can use any type of oil. It can be sunflower oil as well. once you've poured that you can mix everything and then you just add one teaspoon of uh, vanilla essence and then you just whisk like this whisking has to be very 
vigorous because you want everything to mix in very well you can use an electric mixer if you have one it will be very nice trust me my hand muscles were very tired after doing this like it's so much so if you have um an electric mixer this will be very perfect you can use one of those handheld ones that will be super 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 perfect So now you just want to make uh, the coffee which is one and a half cups I made it in this giant mug and I just added two tablespoons of coffee powder you can skip the addition of the coffee powder and just use hot water if you don't like your chocolate very dark so now I'm just bringing all the ingredients together and we are ready to mix but first before we mix that in uh, the chocolate the melted chocolate so i am just taking 75 grams of the melted ch of the choc dark chocolate chips and then i am going to melt them to do this i just put them in right into my warm coffee and then i give it a very good stir I just want to give a shout out to my big sister, Mama Momo. Uh, she's the one who shared this recipe with me. So then I take the coffee mixture and the dark chocolate and just add it into the liquids. And then we are going to start slowly working the liquids into our flour and just giving it a really good mix, making sure that you don't have any pockets of flour again if you have a stand mixer feel free to use it for this purpose so bit by bit we're just gonna mix it in until we have our cake mixture and then we'll move on to the last ingredient last but not least i am just going to add a uh, half a cup of hot water yes and then mix it in to make my dough a little bit soft i don't want my dough to dry so i'm just mixing it in and then we are going to be ready to divide the mixture so i am just pouring half of the mixture into my cake tin and then i will be ready to bake for this cake i am baking it at 180 degrees celsius for 30 to 40 minutes to test if your cake is done after 30 minutes you can shove a knife in it and hopefully your knife comes out clean and that's an indicator that your cake is well done so here i'm just banging uh 
the cake mixture onto the surface to get all the air bubbles out and i'm just pressing out the air bubbles so that we must not have too much of like air pockets inside our cake so i'm gonna go right ahead and pop it into a preheated oven it is very important to preheat your oven so we are done so i tested whether my cake was done oh and i touched that hot tray <laughs> it was nice so the knife came out partially clean which means the cake is done and then after everything is done we have baked two rounds of cake i just slice them in the middle and get ready to assemble i don't have pro proper knives which i i will get uh, after lockdown so cutting my cake was very difficult and i felt like i was ruining the sponge uh, at some point so i'm just squeezing a little bit of buttercream that will secure my first layer of um, cake from moving while I work the next layers so what I am doing next is called like a sugar wash or something like that this ensures that your sponge remains moist especially on the edges of your cake that were in contact with the tray it can feel a little bit dry so you just mix a little bit of honey with warm water and then brush it and then you add your buttercream so i just spread and then add the next layer spread and try and cover the cake as much as possible so that was me decorating you can feel free to decorate this sponge anyhow that you want i know some people like icing over buttercream um some people like chocolate ganache so feel free to decorate this cake however you like this is how i decorated mine and yeah guys after this we will be done i am just going to show you the preview of how it looked while it was done and how it looked once i have cut through everything i love you guys and thank you for tuning in Thank you very much all for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button and like, comment. And thank you very much. I've already started seeing some of you wish me happy birthday in my com YouTube community page. So thank you very much 
for those wishes i love you very much and i appreciate it and thank you for watching my video bye um.